Okay, at this time, I would like to introduce the Oklahoma Republican Party General Counsel and our parliamentarian to oversee the election of the state chairman, Tom Prince. Good morning. Uh, at the beginning of the meeting, we um, uh, approved the agenda. The agenda had in it a, a, a deadline for nominations for state chairman. The only name that we received by the deadline was Matt's name. There's only been one nominations for state chairman. Do I have a motion to elect Matt by acclamation? All in favor? Aye. Congratulations, Matt. I don't deserve a standing ovation yet. Sit down. I don't deserve that yet. One of my favorite quotes, uh, Senator, former Senator George Allen in Virginia, the world is controlled by those who show up. You showed up because this matters. What we do matters. Uh, now, who did not show up today is my family. <laughs> I, I've used them as political props over the last three weeks uh, in letters and emails, um, but they're actually on vacation. We take one vacation a year, and um, this meeting and, and uh, this state committee fell on that, and I did not have the heart to tell my two little kids they had to be here to be political props for me today. So they are not here, but I think that that points to my, a, a very good point, and my first point, that this job can be a lonely job. Uh, it's a tough job. Uh, I worked inside the state party headquarters and I saw that man in the back, Gary Jones, making phone calls at nine o'clock at night, waking up at four or five o'clock in the morning to drive to Comanche County or any other counties for uh, breakfast meetings. It's a tough job, it's a critical job, uh, and it's a job that I want, and it's a job that I've wanted and I appreciate it. But I also, I also don't have a lot of important, pretty people standing behind me for a reason as well. And you know, we see this, and we, I have a lot of support out here, and I'm very honored and, and, and privileged to have it. But I've seen, you know, we, we have people come up, stand up, stand, by, stand behind me. The chairman's gonna have to stand on his own two feet. Those people aren't gonna be there when a camera is shoved in my face and asked me to defend a Democrat attack. They're not gonna be there when making phone calls with me at nine o'clock at night to raise money. The chairman has to stand on his own two feet, defend this party and grow this party and I'll do that. I pledge you today I'll do that. I told you that I was running because I believed Reagan was right. That the Republican party should provide the political mechanism through which the majority of Americans, their goals can be achieved. I mean, think about how powerful that is. Our goals, our dreams in life can be achieved through this party. Not the Democrat party. Not Drew Edmondson's party. Not Jerry Askin's party. Not Kenneth Korn's party. Not Danny Bourne's party. Our party, the Republican party. Our goals, our dreams. And I'm running to prove Reagan right through a statewide operation of grassroots, press, fundraising, and training and recruitment, I'm gonna do that. But I need your help. As you can see, I didn't put forth some 30-point plan to you today, because I know that you know your communities and you know your precincts better than I do. So I'm gonna to go to the district chairs. I'm gonna to go to the county chairs, and we're gonna put a plan together, together. The victory plan and a grassroots get out the vote plan is going to work different in Oklahoma County than it is in Rogers County or Wagner County. You know that. And so I'm going to go out, we're going to put a plan together and we're going to win in November. But I do want to touch on a few of those points because I think it's important. A lot of you haven't heard from me before. But on grassroots, and I've said this before in some of the trainings that I've done with my job, poor, a poor, poor ideas and good planning is going to beat good ideas and poor planning. Okay, we have to realize that. We may have better ideas, but if we don't have proper organization and grassroots, then we're gonna lose. 
I mean, think about what happened in 2008. Spreading the wealth beat less government. Because they had, better, they had a better ground game. They had a better organization. And we've got to clean that up, and we will. We have great leaders at the district level. We have great county chairs. And we're going to turn it around. Press. My goal is for the Democrats to never get the ball. They're going to play defense from today until November. And I can assure you of that the press operation will happen. Fundraising. You've heard the quote, money is the mother's milk of politics. Sorry, but we've got to raise money. But, we, but what is important, and a lot of people have made this point, small donors matter just as much or even more than large donors because they provide that base and that foundation that we need in this party. I've raised money at the party, unprecedented levels of it. And I'm going to prove to you again that I can do that. And training and recruitment. Listen, we can recruit all the good candidates we want. But if, if the party is not out training you and recruiting more of you, then how the heck are they going to get elected? We're going to put a plan together. We're going to do district trainings. We're going to go into counties. We're going to get you guys trained so that you have the tools necessary to get your county and state elected officials elected. I can promise you that. And I'll work with the county and the districts to do it. Those are a few of the things that I would like to do as part of my vision uh, that will be completed again through talking with you over the next few weeks and months. But I want to I close with this because I know we have a lot of business to get to. I can do all this. I can put a plan together. I've been doing this for the past decade. But if we don't come together as one party after these primaries, nothing matters. We're going to get together as one party. There are no perfect candidates. Maybe news to, to some of us out there. There are no perfect candidates. There was one. He died on a cross 2,000 years ago, rose from the dead three days later. But his, his calling was much bigger than politics, thankfully. But don't get me wrong. Primaries are healthy. They are not something to be scared of. I mean, think about it. We need to remember that we have Republicans running in districts now where they still spray for Republicans. We're playing in a lot more districts across the state than we ever have before. But we also need to remember that once the dust settles, we've got to get behind our nominees. We've got to get behind our nominees. And I know that's my job. I know that's my job to go out and tell you why we need to get behind our nominees, and I'll do that. And I'll do that. So go support your candidates in the primaries. Work for them is hard all day long. Go do it. But expect a phone call, an email, and a knock on your door on July 28th because we're going to get together as a party and we're going to kick some donkey backside on November 2nd. Thank you. Thank you.